we're back. So, let me show you what we did so far. Yeah, still a mess. Got the fender, headlights still in there. Um, but we did the main part. Let's see. It's in. Yeah, I still gotta connect the, the clip the wire harness to the fire, I mean to the engine bay. And gotta put the harness on, but I gotta uh, change a couple things up on the harness. I should have done it before that, but it's alright. It's not that hard to put the harness on. And so we did end up going with the stock post mount instead of the H22 one because it was hard to find. I'm gonna run the OBD2 distributor. I made a jumper harness. I'll show you guys in a bit. Um, gotta wire up the VTEC right here. Add the uh, pressure switch to this because JDM ones don't have it. And what else? Oh, yeah, I gotta um, wire the oil pressure switch down there because it has a different one. And I gotta convert this uh, map sensor that's on the firewall to the one that's on the throttle body. And also, I'm running the OBD2 injector, so I gotta run OBD2 injector clips. Don't mind the wall cover, because he just painted the other one. Smoke gray. And I'm gonna replace this cap. But yeah, the engine bay is alright. I wish the clear coat was better, but no, it's alright. Gotta put the battery tray back on. Still has the auto tranny. Bolt up, bolt up the AC and the alternator. We're running stock axles, the automatic trans. And this side, the axle popped out. So I gotta find a way to push it back in. Or else replace it, but it's a bitch to take out this nut right here. So let's see what we're gonna do. All running the F22 crank pulley, and yeah, we're basically running all this stuff off that 22 power steering bracket. Let's see if it's gonna hit, but I don't think it really hits. I gotta see though. And another thing I have to do is um pin in the the VTEC on the ECU side. So I'm, I'm working on that right now. And what we did on the ECU, we got a chip ECU, a P28, um, with an H22 base map. We're gonna, we deleted the IAB, which is right here. Um, Cause it's a sensor that um, it re the ECU reads. When there's a certain amount of uh, pressure, this valve will open, but we're gonna jump it from here to um, here and uh, use a T-fitting for the fuel pressure regulator so it'll be teed off to these two and it'll open once the car starts so it'll always stay open instead of waiting for that to open so it'll be like constant flow so yeah let me show you the jumper harness this is the distributor jumper harness I made OBD2B to OBD1 engine harness um, I think I did most of it right. The only thing I was confused about is that these have like, let's see, like nine plugs, and this one has eight. So there's the V, the speed out output sensor, which I had. If someone said that to tap this in, tap this one with this one, and it goes to this green yellow. So I'll do more research on it and then I'll clean it up and we'll see if it works. Hey yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching and I appreciate all of the subscribers and we're on the road to um, 1K so uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe because it helps a lot and I'm trying to give out giveaways and all that stuff once I hit 1000K, 1K whatever and um, yeah, but, you know, just keep uh, liking, commenting, subscribing, tell your friends. Everybody about the channel, I'm, I'm starting making more videos and stuff, so yeah, just let me know.
And um, if you, has, if you guys have any questions, uh, comment or message me or whatever, you know. But um, we're at like, what, 250 um, subscribers right now. We're trying to hit a 1,000. So, yeah, share everything. I'm making some Chinese sausage with some steamed rice. I should make some more DIY videos of um, how to cook. Uh, comment below if you think so. Steamed rice.